What's good, Coach Colin Castell here with Shop Mechanics Basketball. Today, I've got three sneaky fakes to help you score inside the paint. All right, so no matter how big you are, how tall you are, how fast you are, you can score inside of the paint if you have the right moves and the right way to get there. So today what we're going to do is I'm going to give you three fakes that once you enter that paint, you can use to slide the defense out of your way to get a great look at the basket. Now, before we jump into it, I want you to click the link in the description down below and get a free copy of my number one scoring workout. This is a scoring workout that's going to change the way you think about your training and probably increase your scoring average the first time you try it. That's how powerful it is. So you can click the link in the description down below and you can get that today. Now, the very first fake we're gonna talk about is a kick fake. And basically we're faking like we're kicking the ball out to the perimeter to slide a help side defender out of the way. So the situation that we see a lot of the times is if I'm driving towards the basket, a lot of times I've got a teammate out here on the three point line, right? So right about where you as the camera are at right now, a lot of times there's a help side defender that's coming off of them to help you know, keep me away from the basket. So as I drive, maybe I've got my guy on my hip, and then I've got this help side defender coming, right? A lot of players don't know what to do with this because if I just go to the basket and try to finish, they can challenge, they can block, I've got my guy on my hip. It's a lot of stuff to think about, right? So what we can do is we can use a kick fake to keep that defender honest, keep them sliding back towards their man, and then a lot of times it opens up a wide open lane to finish. That starts to look like I'm actually kicking the ball out. They're gonna start to slide back, I can gather it up, come through and finish at the rim. Now, you're gonna kinda get a feel for when to use this and when not to use it, but most of the time it's when this help side defender is sliding. They haven't fully committed, but they're getting pretty close, right? So you can freeze them in their tracks, come through and finish. Now, with the kick fake, you can use it at any angle. I can be driving this direction. If I catch like a skip pass or something, my guy closes out hard and I come here, I can use a kick fake this direction and get towards the hoop. So really work on getting crafty with it and knowing that you can use it in a bunch of different situations. One of my favorite situations to use it in is on the baseline, right? If I get a pass in the corner here and I'm ripping, a lot of times this help side defender's coming to stop you. You can skip fake out here, a lot of times freeze them and slide underneath for either reverse finish or a little finger roll, right? So be creative where you can use this kick fake option because really it's just working on freezing that second line of defense so you get a wide open look at the basket. All right, so the next one we got is the one hand up fake. Now this is once we've entered the paint, we're coming to a controlled stop and we're gonna use an up fake to try to sell the defense, make it look like we're laying it up, get them off of their feet so we can get an easy look. So it depends on you know how you're gonna execute it depending on where you're driving around the three point line, but I'm just gonna kinda pretend like I'm slashing across the key here. So let's say I get a pass and I'm attacking, you know, maybe I, I rocked it out and I'm attacking this way towards the middle. Now with the up fake, we're coming in and we're gonna shield the basketball with our body. So for this one, your back shoulder is going to be facing towards the rim. So as I come through, I'm gonna plant my last step right here, and then I'm going to show the ball high above my head, just like that. So I'm planting my last step, boom, showing above my head. Now right here, my left foot's my pivot foot now, right? Because my last dribble is I picked it up, I'm planting that down, I'm showing it above my head. Now from here, a lot of times, this works great if the defender's on your hip, right? So if I've driven from the three point line, let's say I pass fake, whatever it is, and I beat my man, my man's probably right here on my back hip, right? So as I keep him on my back hip, and I plant this foot on my last step and throw it, they're gonna be right here. And when I show that ball high above my head, they're gonna jump, they're gonna try to block because it looks like I'm coming for that reverse inside hand layup. Now the key here is number one, just like the kick fake before, we've gotta sell it with our eyes, right? If I throw my eyes and my head up at the same time, that looks like I'm going to get to the basket, they're gonna bite on it. A lot of times you can make guys look silly on this one because you can throw it up, they'll sky to block your shot, they'll go flying out of bounds, and then all you gotta do is either step back through and finish if you've got the time, or my personal favorite is once we plant and we up fake, you can pivot away from them to hit a little fadeaway jumper or go back towards the hoop that direction as well, right? You get a ton of separation because if I up fake here and they slide over the top, if I pivot away, now I've almost got two body lengths away from them as I launch into my shot. So really you can get creative with it. The whole key though is number one, we wanna show that fake above our head. Number two, we wanna sell it with the eyes. And number three, we wanna make sure that once we throw it, we're getting that separation away from the defender, whether it's with a pivot the opposite direction or if it's stepping back through to finish the layup. Either way, this is super crappy. You can use it anywhere around the paint. And just remember, back shoulder, 
it's got to be the one that shows the ball up. All right, so the next fake we've got is a low fake. Now, this is a great fake to use if you're driving in towards the basket and you've got the help side defender, a lot of times a big tall guy or something like that, because we want to get our hands down so we can get a good look at the basket on the finish. So low fake is basically just the idea. So I'm driving in here, I'm getting ready to score. I'm going to come to a quick two-footed jump stop once I get into that paint. Right? Now you're gonna to wanna to read this, it depends on where the defense plays. You might have to jump a little further out, you might have to jump a little further in, but we wanna to try to get closer to the defense as we can, and we wanna use this quick jump stop. From here, we wanna think about our angle of our chest. Most of the time, we're gonna want our chest facing towards the baseline, or in this case, the wall right here. Because what that's gonna do is it's gonna protect the ball on our outside of our body. Now, the low fake is basically just as I'm coming to a jump stop, Simultaneously, I'm going to fake the ball low and inside with my hand that's on the inside by the basket, right? Now, what this does is if I have a help side defender here, a lot of times a big guy, tall guy, when I come to this jump shot and I jump stop and I fake low like this, what are they probably going to do? If they're here in help side, as soon as I fake low, they're going to drop, they're going to bend, they're either going to try to put their hand out to deflect a pass, or they're going to try to take it from you, right? So if I can do a really quick low fake, all I can do is I can drop their hands, and then I know as soon as I fake this low, I'm going to spring up with an outside hand layup, protect it with my shoulders. This is great because number one, you get those shot blockers to drop down. Number two, you draw a lot of and one fouls out of this situation because they get out of position, they get their hands down, and then they foul you coming back up over the top, right? So in a low fake, again, you can use it in any situation. I can drive across the middle of the key, I can come to a jump stop, I can fake low this direction, especially maybe I've got a pick and roll man or something coming that way, and then I can finish with a little outside jump hook, little jumper, whatever you want. Right? Get creative with it. You just want to land low and quick and use that quick fake to get their hands down so you get a good look at the basket. All right, if this video helps you out, go ahead and hit that like button and then hit the comment section down below and let me know what sort of video you want to see next. This channel for the people, by the people, and I run pretty much everything on request, so leave it down below and hopefully we'll get to it. If you're new to Shop Mechanics, hit that subscribe button. We got videos every week that are going to get you better. And you're going to click the button down here or the link in the description to get a free copy of my number one scoring workout. This is a scoring workout that's going to change the way you think about your training and probably increase your scoring average the very first time you try it. That's how powerful it is. All right, again, I'm Coach Colin Castell with Shot Mechanics Basketball. Thanks for watching, and until next time, splash on.